Hi Vogue, welcome to my bathroom as I do my morning skincare routine. So first up, I start off by wearing a little headband. I always say that skincare is supposed to be fun, so that's why I always wear a super fun headband. This one has some ears on it. I want to look professional, so I'm gonna use it the other way. There we go, my hair is tidy and out of my face. And then I can start with my shaving. I have some facial hair and I want to remove that since I'm going to work. I want to look professional, clean, and neat. Then I go in with the ritual. It's called um, Shave Foam Mousse de Rassage with ginseng and hydro complex. I really like it. My skin likes it. It do have, have some fragrances, so if you have the most sensitive skin, this one might not be the one for you. Then I put some warm water on my eraser. And when you shave, you want to go downwards. So you don't irritate your skin and you don't get a ton of ingrown hairs. I'm not about that because ingrown hairs leads to hyperpigmentation. If you get some hyperpigmentation, then we don't want that because that can lead to, or it can take a lot of time to get rid of it. So I usually always start on my cheek area, downwards and some side sways with my eraser. And I do my moisture. I hope this is some satisfying ASMR sounds for you guys. And I do my chin, rest of my face. There's some hairs here. I usually shave every other day. So then I do my neck. And I feel like my neck is the most prone to getting ingrown hairs. That again leads to hyperpigmentation, and so on and so forth. But you should look pretty hairless if you've done it correct. Okay everyone, we're finished shaving. So that's the time when I clean my face, remove all the shaving foam and dirt, not dirt that has gathered up while I'm, I've been sleeping, but so my skin can start off fresh. So we can start off with a fresh canvas, you guys. So the cleanser I usually use in the morning is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. It is formulated for normal to dry skin. Uh, it has some essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. And it just doesn't strip my skin barrier whenever I use it in the morning. Look at the texture, you guys. Looks like a moisturizer. Literally does. Then I just massage it into my skin. You should do some massaging as well, like this. Getting some lymph nodes drainage. Then we just rinse it off. Look, we're wet, so we just take a towel and we pat our face. Try to not tug too much at the skin, as this can cause irritation, as well as unwanted exfoliation. <laughs> I mean, if you want to exfoliate your skin, go ahead, but I wouldn't do it with a towel. Okay guys, then we're ready for our skin. We have prepped our skin. We're ready to go in with the products now, so we can look glowy and hydrated and look super nice. The toner I would usually go in with, I'm almost empty, you guys. I have a new one I'm gonna start using when I'm finished with this one. Uh, it's the Aqua Licorice Toner. As I said, you might get ingrown hairs if you do shaving, etc. This one is formulated with licorice root extract, which helps with uh, reducing hyperpigmentation. 
and it also smells really nice. I think it's fragrance free, but it do smell like licorice. Not like your typical nasty tasting licorice, but it tastes like sweet. It smells like what a sweet licorice would taste. That's what I'm trying to say here. So when did I start to do skincare? I started doing skincare when I was 17 years old. I'm just gonna go in with another layer of toner. When I was 17 years old, I had a lot of cystic acne. I just gotten some laser treatments done for cystic acne. I had been on the, what is it called, tretinoin, like the pill you take. I was about to say the retinol pill, but the pill you take for acne. I finished the medication for that. My, my skin was so dry and red, so I was like, I need to figure something out. So that's when I started doing my skincare. Bought some shitty skincare line from the pharmacy that didn't suit my skin, didn't work for me at all. Then I started doing Korean skincare, which really boosted my skin. And also, the skincare game has evolved a lot since 2018 when I started doing my skincare when I was 17 years old. Uh, into what it is now with good products for a cheap price, whatever. And then I'm going in with my essence, you guys. I usually don't wear essence, but I'm gonna finish this bubble. It is the Cosrx Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Do you remember, guys, when we had like the 10 step Korean skincare routine and everything? I bought so many products for that. And then people shifted their meanings towards the 10 step Korean skincare routine. I would usually prefer to have a routine that is like six steps maybe, excluding my cleansers and shaving and whatnot, makeup, BB cream, whatever you prefer. Maximum of like six steps. Essence as well, let's go into our serum. So the serum I'm currently using, it's the Boots Ingredients Vitamin C Serum. This one has a low concentration of 3% of L-ascorbic acid, where it's vitamin C, which I think is really good in the winter time because I would rather focus on using my retinols in the winter time so my skin can rest with these low percentages, percentages of vitamin C instead in the daytime. That was our serum, we have treated our skin, but you guys, I'm heading to work soon. I'm a flight attendant. I'm up in the air, the air is so dry. What do I use to combat and battle the dry air? Well, I have a solution. A product that my skin has absolutely been loving this winter is the La Roche Pousse Cica Blast. Guys, it's so nice, it's so heavy. I have dry skin. If you have oily skin, I don't recommend this at all, as your skin will be drowning in product. It will be suffocating for dry skin. Man, I love this one. Use it in the daytime, in the nighttime. And it's such a good product to use while also using retinols. So occlusive look. My skin is packed with moisture. Down the neck and everything. Okay guys, so now it's time for sunscreen. Now that we've applied our beautiful skincare, it's time to do the most important thing that you do to your skin, and that is apply a sunscreen every day to uh, make sure that we don't get skin cancer, you guys. I have a few sunscreens I really like, but for today I'll be using the Beauty of Jolson Ginseng Moist Sun Serum. You guys, this is a clear gel sunscreen. Look at it. Uh, put a lot on there. I usually just squeeze, like I probably do like five or six pumps of this one just for my face and neck. So we can be really well protected. Don't forget your neck, guys. Because your neck is also visible and exposed for UV rays. Do my eyes, top of the eyes as well, my ears, my neck. And that is our skincare, you guys. Woohoo! 
now it's time to do my hair and my clothes. Okay guys, so I changed my clothes and put off my hairband because now it's time to do some hair care. So I just start by combing the hair. And a product that I've been really loving for my hair recently, it's the Eleni Chris Hair Oil with Scandinavian Cloudberry Oil to nourish, repair and give shine. I just really love this product. I think it's such a nice product. I do some pumps in my hand and I just shape my hair. And that really nourishes and takes care of my hair. Especially while I'm up in the air working, you know, my hair can get pretty dry and cracked. Okay guys, and then I go in with my BB cream, but I have a little life hack that one of my friends showed me that I do for my BB cream. So I'm using the uh, Perito uh, Seca Clearing BB Cream number 15 is the one I think matches my skin the best. So that's why I use this one. I apply like a big pea-sized mount. <laughs> I do another round of my sunscreen just put it on there you know like kind of the same amount of sunscreen as BB cream and just mix it together really nice and it takes out a bit of the coverage but I promise you it will stay on the skin better and it will fit your skin better so I usually just do a lot underneath my eye and on my nose area since that's where I tend to get dry and crack. I just let it cook for like a little minute while I do the rest of my face. There you guys, look at it. And then I'm moving on to my two last steps. The first one is my perfume. I use the Givenchy Gentleman. It's called Reserve Petit Privé Eau de Parfum. It has like woody tones, whiskey, and hints of tobacco. And then moving on to our last step is the lip balm. I use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask Berry. It's a jar, so have clean fingers if you're going in with the product. <laughs> Put my finger in there and I just apply it to my lips. And you guys, that's it. You know, I'm finished with my skincare, my BB cream, my hair, my everything. It took me about 15 minutes. So that's how I do it and Make sure to keep comment what is your favorite step in the skincare routine and why. So guys, thank you guys for watching and take care and bye.